Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coin Lady Channel. Bitboy Crypto, Aka Ben Armstrong, has come out and said that he expects XRP to perform better than any other major coin in the next crypto bull run. And with one minor qualification, I agree entirely. For the full picture, XRP, its biggest run-up to its all-time high of near $4 literally occurred during that market cycle, which lasted from roughly mid-December 2017 until early January 2018. In 2017, XRP saw gains of around 30,000%, making it the best-performing asset by far. But if you consider the low point before the price started rising, you'll see something even more remarkable. So, the price range was probably between a half cent and four dollars. I don't have time right now to look up the specifics, but I thought I'd share the concept anyway. As far as I can recall, XRP gained around 80,000%. We can expect more of the same in the future. That's how I see it, at least. BitBoy's crypto is sound, in my opinion. By happen again, I mean the trend will continue and the increases will be larger in magnitude, I'm not predicting that XRP will surge by, say, 30,000% or 80,000%, this is because the multiplier effect decreases with each new market cycle. That's correct for every type of currency. What holds true for Bitcoin and ETH also holds true for XRP. But I believe that it is still early enough that many, many people will become financially independent. Specifically, the price of XRP has been artificially kept low. Price ceiling suppression. Sometimes it's hard to find the right words to describe the current depressed price level, but that situation won't last forever. Is the only major digital currency not to reach a new peak during the last trading period? The top 10 are the only ones who didn't. Yes, there is a lot to dissect here. However, it's important to note that I come from absolutely no financial background. Nothing I say or write should be taken as recommendations to buy or sell any security. Just a hobbyist here who occasionally posts videos to YouTube on various crypto-related topics. As I film this, let me explain. This excerpt costs 51 cents, while one Bitcoin is currently worth $28,251. Bitcoin's 44. 84% market share represents a huge percentage of the total value of this asset class. Your fear and greed index for cryptocurrencies is 62. Although there has been some cause for concern as of late, things have been relatively calm for the better part of the last week. With all the recent buzz surrounding XRP, I've been keeping a closer eye on the rate at which new XRP accounts are being created than I normally would. On March 29th, a peak of 3,383 new accounts was reached. A number of new accounts were activated going all the way back to the beginning of March, as shown in the chart on your screen. Around 1,100 a day was considered average. By March 2090h, there had been a significant increase. The rate at which new accounts are being made also appears to have slowed. That's to be expected, though, given the increased euphoria and enticing price action in the markets that preceded the local peak in account openings at that point. Still, I felt it necessary to mention that, you know, we continue to receive over 2,000 daily account signups. Now, on this 5th of April, we're still going strong with over 1,900 new accounts. So, as I record this, there is a brand new, sustained high. In terms of new accounts and general day-to-day -day business, you get the picture. Now, let's talk about the near-term direction the market is likely to take. Well, it seems to me that the conventional wisdom among the analysts I generally follow is that it is quite probable at this point, of course, nothing is guaranteed, but it is quite probable. A retracement is imminent. I've been told the same thing about Bitcoin and XRP, but that eventually they'll both continue to rise. Here is a tweet from a credible crypto chart analyst. To his 338,900 Twitter followers, he tweeted the following. Nothing has changed, he wrote, and that's the truth. There has been no change in our situation. Even if Bitcoin drops to $23,000 to $25,000, as I've been predicting for weeks, it will still have reached its all-time high in 2002. Focus people, there is no need to worry. Not many analysts that I'm aware of are predicting a new Bitcoin all-time high in 2023, so that's pretty bold on their part. I certainly hope he's correct. Regardless, it takes courage to put yourself out there like that. 
oh, and I should probably mention this, too. A couple of days have passed and I still haven't mentioned this on my channel. As you all know, Elon Musk is busy being Elon Musk, and most of you also know that he is a huge fan of Dogecoin for obvious reasons. I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my finger on it. Still, he can't deny his undying devotion to Dogecoin. He reportedly spent around $44 billion to acquire Twitter last year. He also learned that he could use the Doge logo in place of Twitter's. I find it hilarious that he has swapped out the Twitter logo for the Doge logo, which you can see here on the screen. An adult child, to be precise. They already guessed why I come. Elon Musk is someone I respect. This makes me laugh. To put it bluntly, it's idiotic. So, this is how you're spending $44 billion. Okay. Okay, then. Actually, you know what? Only one life can be lived. Relax and enjoy yourself. Fine. What's the matter with you, though? First of all, until Elon Musk decides to change it, it will always appear on my screen, so I thought I'd bring it up. Instead of the Twitter logo, we'll use the Doge symbol because there's no good reason not to. But I also wanted to point out that the value of Doge skyrocketed a couple of days ago when this occurred. Doge first appears on this 7-day chart, and then it trades relatively flat for the next few days. But go. Said Elon Musk by the way, there's also Rakesh, who writes for Cointelegraph, I won't summarize his entire analysis here, but he did say that if we do experience a decline in value, it's possible that the price could drop to as little as 43 cents. Supporters of blockchain technology have been speculating that Bitcoin and XRP have hit a wall. Again, I don't want to regurgitate a lot of TA, but the blockchain backer's most recent video on the topic was very fascinating to me, and I know that there are many people who agree with the idea that the most likely scenario is consistent with what he's describing. So, XRP might drop a little, but it also just had a huge run. Even if that were to occur, I wouldn't be overly sad because nothing ever rises in a perfectly straight line. This is a warning, so please take it as such. It's not that I'm trying to come off as a total downer. In my opinion, it is not going to be a major issue. It's not a big deal even if the price drops to 45 cents or 46 cents. A ruling in the SEC Ripple case is expected soon as well, so keep that in mind as well. This from the Daily Hoddle is yet another example. A prominent trader has recently changed his mind and is now bullish on XRP, revealing price targets for lesser known Ethereum forks. I'll just mention the XRP-related bit. Another prominent analyst has pointed out that XRP has hit a wall of resistance and is looking to buy it slightly lower if the opportunity presents itself. This is, of course, no guarantee, but it does help set the stage for what many people anticipate will happen. I'm just saying there's no reason to worry if something like that happens. So, I present this to you. Popular cryptocurrency analyst predicts a surge in XRP and another Ethereum-based altcoin. Altcoin Sherpa, a cryptocurrency trader with 194,400 Twitter followers, recently revealed that he was using the Fibonacci retracement tool to determine a support level for XRP, the utility token used by the Ripple payment platform. And I have to pause because you know me and this really annoys me, calling XRP Ripple's token in the year 2023 is ridiculous. Get out of here with your Panama hat on. To continue the piece anyway, according to the trader's calculations, XRP will retrace to the 0.5 Fibonacci level at 46 cents before making a strong upward move. This is a quote, by the way XRP the standard, final bid from me is 0.466. So, once again, even the naysayers, and there are many of them even in our community, who believe XRP and Bitcoin will both decline in the near future are anticipating the trend to continue upwards. Many market observers anticipate further gains. This is undeniably the time to consult with all coin expert Sherpa. Now, as for this notion of XRP being the top coin, top large coin in the next bull cycle, let's get into that. What other large cap coin is artificially suppressed in this way? If Ben Armstrong, Aka Bitboy Crypto, is correct, then he's probably spot on. And when XRP goes, it really goes crazy, which is why I'm a fan. That's why they published this piece, which quotes the crypto newbie BitBoy, who predicts that XRP will have the best performance in the coming bull run. Listed below are the reasons why. 
They are reporting on a tweet he made the other day in which he said, let's dissect this problem. According to him, XRP will be the best performing major coin during the next bull run as long as it receives at least a favorable settlement and no appeal. The repression will soon be lifted. So, yeah, I agree with that entirely. However, let's dissect this a bit. However, this is still somewhat uncertain unless and until XRP obtains at least a favorable settlement and no appeal. If the SEC were to appeal a ruling in our favor from District Judge Torres, how much would that dampen the glow? How much do you think that would limit some of the XRP price movement we might see right now? I believe it still explodes to some degree. To be honest, I have no idea. I have no idea if that means it will increase by another dollar or two, or if it will cause a new record high. I'm not going to say anything is impossible just because it's possible. I can't say. But again, let's say the SEC loses and appeals, in that case, you know, this thing is going to drag on. Exchanges of this nature have the potential to cause panic in the market. One thing would be for there to be complete clarity and assurance that there wouldn't be years of additional litigation unfolding upon appeal. We're having one of those slap forehead, sigh audibly moments if we don't grasp that. But. It's possible, though, because when Ben Armstrong says, as long as we get at least a favorable settlement, he may not mean that the cases are done and settled out right before a decision is made. If the judge rules in favor of the SEC or Ripple, the parties can still reach a settlement because the settlement terms would merely mirror the remedies outlined in the ruling. This would allow the parties to reach an understanding that regardless of who wins, there will be no further appeals. That might explain some of it. And, you know, as long as there's a little bit on both sides that both both sides can say face and feel like they are getting what's actually important, then it's all good. If you were to obtain such a thing, then by all means, proceed. Again, this is why XRP is expected to outperform all other major cryptocurrencies in the next bull run. This doesn't rule out the possibility of other coins, perhaps smaller cap coins, that offer higher returns in terms of the multiplier effect. That's to be expected, though, given that the prospect of a multiplier effect being achieved by investing in a small cap coin with almost no money in it is enormous. Almost no new capital is required. I don't care that XRP is worth more monetarily. This is not something I was discussing in my most recent video. That doesn't mean I'd be more interested in low volume cryptos. No way, Jose, because you can't count on it. The stakes are higher. A rug pull, perhaps? Is the technology reliable? Will those platforms ever be used for anything practical? Despite XRP status as a large cap coin, investors seem unconcerned by the fact that the currency's value has been artificially held down. This area is where most want to settle down. As a result, I don't invest in or even own very many small cap coins. They don't really hold much appeal for me. I don't pretend to know the exact percentage gains, but XRP is my largest holding for a reason, and I think Ben Armstrong is spot on with this assessment. In contrast, XRP multiplier effects will far outstrip those of Bitcoin and Ether. Before the end of the subsequent market cycle. And again, I don't think that's what's most likely unless there's some really bad news for XRP. So, yeah, I'd say that sums it up pretty accurately. Feel free to share your opinions with me. No, I don't give out financial advice. Nothing I say or write should be used as a basis for making financial decisions. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.